Fishing for big heavy perch during winter is a game that has become more and more popular in the past couple of years and for good reason. Stick around in this video to see how Hugo and I had an amazing day fishing for those legendary big perch on the shallows in the middle of winter using twitch baits and light tackle. Morning everyone, waiting for you to uh, get the uh, car parked, the trailer on lock. And we're gonna head out and see if we can catch some perks today. It's uh, super cold for us Dutchies. I mean, we can't complain compared to the uh, guys in uh, the northern parts of Europe. But uh, yeah, your hands are freezing off, snow everywhere, ice on the ramp. It is a proper winter day. And I must say, the fact that I forgot my bit, as in uh, I got my jackets, but I didn't bring any winter pants, so um, I got three, uh, three spare pants on top of each other. Let's see if it can keep me warm today. And hopefully a big bear will do as well. Yeah. Ah. 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 Nice. That's the first one, and um, it is the second take. I missed one already, and uh, Hugo had a, uh, a really monster perch following uh, this twitch bait. Lovely, lovely fish. It's a really cool way to spend winter fishing as well. Just cast on the shallows, fishing it like pike fishing style, twitching, jerking. It's always a debate if it's twitch baiting or jerk baiting. I like to call it twitch baiting, but I know in the US it's jerk bait fishing. Then you can catch lovely birds like this. Beautiful fish. Do you return? No. Do you return? Oh, I don't need to. I'm not gonna put my hands on the work. Oh. <laughs> he made a 180. <laughs> In één keer zijn ze er, dat vind ik dat uh, helemaal s'nachts. Nice, man, man. Oei, joi. Oh, dit is een dikke baas. What the fuck? <laughs> ik dacht eerder dat het een. Oh, oh. Oh. Boom! Nice! Ah. Ah. Oh. We have a tank in the net. Yeah, man. Uh, so finally it's getting a little bit warmer, that's why probably the fish is moving to the shallows. And uh, damn, I just absolutely love twitch bait fishing. Because you can catch those balloons on like two to three meters of water and just look at them. Beautiful fish. This can be maybe one of many today because we're fishing for I think maybe one hour right now. Yeah. Seeing a fish probably double the size of this one. Sean caught a beauty, and yeah, this is like 47 probably. Yeah. So uh, let's see if we can get a 50 in front of the lens. That would be awesome. Nice. Literally second cast. It feels like this one's even bigger. Man. Yeah, it feels like a heavy fish. I'm gonna... Oh, it's a pike. You wanna net it? That's fine. It's getting so messy. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Mm. 
Ja, dat is een heel klein bol snoekie. Sean and I were literally just talking about where to fish for those big perch and funnily enough we found out that my perch spots are more or less identical to Sean's pike spots. So we're fishing more or less between two to four meters of depth and what we're looking for is mainly some remainings of those old weeds on the bottom and that's what we constantly see on the sonar so we carefully fish those yeah with twitch baits whatever what and uh, we have a tank in the net again. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at the eye on this one. Super, super yellow. Boom. Of course, I got a bike. What's it doing? I mean, I don't know why, but every time I do a serious attempt of perch fishing, I always seem to catch bike and like multiple and decent ones as well, like this one. What's it doing? Not a meter plus, but it's uh... Ooh. <laughs> it's a chunky one. <laughs> That's fun nonetheless. I mean. You know what the funny thing is? Yeah. You got three, three trebles. Oh in fuck! There. Oh, it's completely gone as well. Oh. Yeah, that's why I'm using thicker fluorocarbon. Like we were talking about this morning, at like one rod with a really, really thin diameter fluorocarbon leader. Where is it? Hello. If you, uh, yeah, you can just pull that one. I can probably wiggle this one free. No, I think that's good, guys. As you start out, and he snook the ground, sir. Professionally, it works. It works. Yeah. <laughs> My hands are still intact. Fish is gone completely, unscathed. And we got the stunner back, so. Nice. Take a bars, take a bars, take a bars. You choke them. <laughs> yeah, buddy! Oh, oh, man. <laughs> nice! That's a 50. Oh, oh that's fishing a for bike today, but Ah, I told damn. you, I really need a big purse. I've seen you slaying it with the Twitch baits. Um, you know, we fished uh, the YPC together. And you showed me that Twitch bait uh, game. Because I was struggling in the beginning, I made two big mistakes. One, I wasn't, wasn't fishing with enough slack. So I was fishing it with a crankbait like this, and you were really twitching it from side to side, like you do it with a glider, like with a jerkbait. Hence the term jerkbait fishing with these twitch baits. It's always, the terminology is a bit confusing sometimes. And yeah, that's one thing. And the other thing is I had my drag too tight all the time. And as a pike angler, I like to have it just towards the breaking point. It's just, you know, this is a bit of a different game. You need to have your drag open. So it's a bit different sometimes. You need to get used to that you strike and uh, the line instantly comes off your spool, but um, once you get the hang of it, 
I really like it, though. It's super fun to do. Let's see if I can... No, I'm not gonna do it. Do it like this. <laughs> Thanks, Owen. That is sick. Beast. That's your time. Nice. Really, really like it. What a beautiful fish. It's just January now. Imagine if it's, if it's like March, you know, pre-spawning. Oh. 47 centimeters, well over two kilo, I guess. So uh, let's get another one. We need to get a 50 today, but I'm really happy with this one. Sliding back. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Nice one, sir. Thanks for the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Perch. It's really weird the damage that they got on the side. I mean, uh, this one as well. You can get a close up from it. But... What we're talking about, either it's from the, the, the high water level that the birds are damaged due to the current or something, or some cormorants being hunting, but uh, yeah, this is perch number seven. Nice, bulky one, not the biggest of the day, but I'll take it, the take was super, super hard. Nice. I'll just quickly show you how to fish a jerkbait like this one. So first thing, of course, make cast as usual. And what I do is first crank it down, like I give like four to five cranks, so it goes down a bit, so roughly about, roughly about 1.5 to 2 meters. And then we do the twitching, and this is the magic to fish this type of bait. So we fish, as Sean told you before, with a lot of slack line. So that means tap, 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 and every single time you just take off the tension of the line, because during that moment the jerkbait goes really from left to right. If you keep tension on the line, you make sure that the bait goes only more or less to the front. And as soon as you give a little bit more slack, it really goes left, right. And that's exactly the action that you want to have while fishing with the jerkbait. And the funny thing is, because you're fishing so aggressive, a lot of people think that it's like a typical summer style of fishing. Uh, however, it's extremely effective during winter fishing but then you just give a little bit more breaks in between the fishing itself. So you just wait one, two, sometimes even five seconds. This is literally one of my favorite types of fishing for the winter days. We are both using the SG6 Revenge. My rod is a medium game with a casting weight up to 45 gram, but Hugo is generally fishing a bit lighter when using twitch baits, often below 30 gram. In this case, I used the AG4 spinning reel, a 2500 model with 0.12mm braid, stick braid in this case, and a fluorocarbon leader of 0.8mm. Good perk? Yeah, good perk. Ooh, that is a balloon. We got some balloons today. Bam! Ik schrok even joh, ik zag hier die, die bal van die remmaal staan en kut, die beugel is eraf, die zit erop. Jo! Jezus, ik heb hier zo lang stil hangen gek. En het is een spoekbaars! Yay, we got a triple! <laughs> We got the grand slam. Nice. I was just talking to Hugo about something on his boat and then... Uh... That's what we call a grand slam in the Netherlands. Perch, Pike and Xander. Awesome. Every single species we wanted, we got it today. Look at the big marks on his head, by the way, the lines. Such a cool fish. Bye bye, Mr. Z.
Yeah. Weer wat ook gewoon een kindje mee. Monster Perch number 842. Westerday 1 2. Uh, uh, on the gravity twitch. Nice. Oh. Well done, sir. And it's safe. I missed one already over here, so yeah. you, saw, you saw more cross on the floor. I just said Peter to Sean. Yeah. I see something happening on the floor here because. What we try to do is find for at least look for structure, um, a little bit of weed, whatever, what like something that keeps and attracts the fish. And yeah, just said, I see something happening on solar. Boom. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the sun is shining and this blue chrome color really is very shiny. And in this type of water, it's always works for me. What a day, isn't it? <laughs> it's, one of those day, one of those days where you just uh, you can't forget about this. Absolutely stunning fish. So we switch spots, and yeah, I think this one uh, it's gonna get back very soon because we're onto something, and I want to see if we can get another beauty. So the big question: What type of twitch bait do you need to take? First thing you need to do is look at what depth you're fishing. For me right now we're fishing between two to three meters and I know this gravity twitch medium runner runs roughly to 2.5 to maximum three meters of depth. That's why I'm always picking this type of jerk bait because what I want to do is fish as close to the bottom as possible. And what you do is you jerk it down or you crank it down and then you start twitching. So then it moves left to right. But the best thing what you can do is use a jerk bait which touches the bottom sometimes. That means that sometimes the bib will touch the bottom and it will create a little bit of dust and that's exactly what the perch are looking for. So um, another very important feature to pick the right twitch bait is casting distance. So with the gravity twitch as you can see it has a little bit more bulky profile compared to for example the Berkey Dexana and that means that for example this twitch bait has a little bit better uh, casting properties. So yeah, including a special casting mechanism you can just cast this bait roughly 40 to even 50 meters if you have the right wind conditions. It's a pike. It is perch. It is. Perch, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. Oof. What a day, what a day. Come on. Oh. Get the side, man. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Nice. Dude. Here you go, dude. <laughs> What's going on today? It's not only the length, but this fish is just... Uh, what a balloon. Easy. Yes. Quickly get the hooks out. Gravity twitch does it again. Gets and away. look at this fish, man. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's ridiculous. What a unit of a fish, man. Absolutely stoked with this fish. Winter fishing at its best, definitely. Absolutely unit. Jeez. 2.4 kilo. Boom. Well done, sir. What a fish. Happy days. What a day. It's January. Usually it's cold and bitter and just grim, but not today. Lots of activity on the shallows. I mean, we have nine perch, a zander, and I think five pike. Pretty decent one in between as well. And um, uh, Hugo was telling me that you, you can have days where you can catch meter pikes on, uh, on these twitch baits, which is 
yeah, on light tackle is just awesome to do, especially when they're heavy and at their, uh, you know, their winter condition. But uh, I had a blast on the shallows. It's, uh, it's really uh, a fun way to spend winter and I'm looking forward to do this more the coming weeks. Fishing the moderate runner gravity twitch, the deck stunner. Using the new SG6 revenge rods. It's a lot of fun on the shallow. So thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video.